It's in the way you hold my hand. It's the way I've watched you change me from a boy into a man. It's a million things about you, and I don't know what it is, but I've never known a love like this. I've never. Then maybe I love you The color of my heart and shades of black and blue Yeah, we yell and we argue, we hate and we try to make it right again Yeah, we both gotta follow out the riches and problems Still we always stay Cause when you love Is killing me, I know. 
two sides to every story because of that i understand maybe i need space i think i need it but when i try to walk away from you i can't help but contemplate it i don't want to love you no not in that way wish i could know if we'd be someday but right now that's too far away my sweet sanity my love my melodic remedy I pray you'll stay around my dark Gotta take care of me So I must let you go If we go our separate ways I just want you to know I love you I'm always here One call away Though we are far You won't be alone today If you should miss me no, you're on my mind And although I won't admit it I think about you all the time You're my sweet setting, my love My melodic remedy I pray you'll stay around my dark Gotta take care of me So I must let you go If we go our separate ways I just want you to know I was six years old, I broke my leg And I was running from my brother and his friends And tasted the sweet perfume of the mountain grass I rolled down I was younger then Take me back to when I found my heart Broke it, hit me, friends, and lost them through the years. And I've not seen the boring fields in so long. I know I've grown, but I can't wait to go home. Fifteen years old and smoking and rolled cigarettes Running from the law through the backfields and getting drunk with my friends Had my first kiss on a Friday night I don't reckon that I did it right But I was younger then Take me back to when we found Weekend jobs and when we got paid We'd buy cheap spirits and drink them straight Me and my friends have not thrown up in so long Oh how we've grown But I can't wait to go home Sunset. 
One friend left to sell clothes and one works down by the coast. One had two kids but lives alone. One's brother overdosed. One's already on his second wife. One's just barely getting by, but these people raised me and I can't wait to go on and I'm on my way. I still remember these old country lanes when we did not know the answers and I missed the way.
Good evening, and welcome to the 97th commencement exercise at Crystal Lake Central High School. My name is Ellie Pierzina, and I am joined by my fellow graduate, Colin Hain. It is our pleasure to serve as the Masters of Ceremony today for the graduation celebration for the class of 2021. This evening, we gather together to honor the accomplishments of 340 students, as well as the tireless efforts of their families, teachers, and community. Now would you please stand for the singing of our national anthem by the acapella choir. Our first student speaker is Quinn Welder. During his time at Central, he participated in choir, theater, band, and National Honor Society. In the fall, he will attend Vanderbilt University and study vocal performance. As I neared the end of my senior year, not a second went by when I was not asking myself this question. What will I remember of my time here at Crystal Lake Central High School? As a student body, I think we can all collectively agree that we have shared some amazing experiences here at CLC. Whether it be stepping into the light to take a cast bow after a performance, celebrating as a team after beating Prairie Ridge in a football game, or simply having the opportunity to spend time with such compassionate individuals every day, on Zoom or otherwise. However, beyond these group experiences, I think we can also agree that we have all grown as individuals through experiences that others didn't see, but we felt. Achieving feats such as venturing out of our comfort zones to try a new activity, pushing ourselves in our academic abilities, or having a friendship grow with a previous stranger. When we came in as freshmen, we were introduced to a new concept, Tiger Pride. To be proud of your school, yourself, and what you represent as a Crystal Lake Central Tiger. Now, after four years, we have created a network of moments to be proud of. Some we can share with others in this building, some we can just relish by ourselves. 
I hope we all leave here with memories of a few of these group and individual experiences to commemorate our presence here. And I hope with them we can bring an understanding of how they exemplify tiger pride, a feeling and achievement that can be carried with us as we embark on any path life takes us. Right now, I can pinpoint thousands of memories to signify my time here at Central. Although time will tell how many of these last, I feel confident that at the very least, I will always remember what it means to be a tiger. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2021. There are some honored guests with us this morning that I would like to recognize at this time. With the members of the Community High School District 155 Board of Education, Mr. Adam Gus and Mr. Dave Seacrest, please stand. Thank you for the time and support you have given the students at Crystal Lake Central High School. We would like to take a moment to also thank and recognize members of our District 155 administrative team who are here with us this morning. Would Mr. Timmerman, Director of Curriculum, and Scott Shepard, Assistant Superintendent, please sit in. Their behind the scenes efforts are what make Crystal Lake Central the strong learning community we've grown to know. I would also like to recognize another group, the people who made this day possible. They spent every day in the classrooms with us and represent the heart and soul of Crystal Lake Central, our teachers. They have guided us over the last four years and assisted in our growth as students. Would the members of the faculty please rise and be recognized? <laughs> Finally, I would like to recognize our central administrative team. Thank you for your leadership and support. Please rise and be recognized. Before the class of 2021 receives their diplomas, I would like to highlight the emblems of excellence that some of our graduates are wearing today. Red, white, and blue cords are worn by students who will be serving their country in one of the five branches of the military. Please stand and be recognized. Gold tassels are worn by members of the National Honor Society, and white honor cords are worn by students who took five or more advanced placement tests during their high school career. Please stand and be recognized. Orange and black cords are worn by members of the Student Council, and honor cords are worn by members of the World Language National Honor Societies and Interact Club. Please stand and be recognized. In addition, our AVID students are being honored by their gold and white cords. Please stand and be recognized. Neck medallions are worn by students that earned a GPA of 4.0 or better. Please stand and be recognized. Finally, we recognize the 57 students in the class of 2021 who earned our third annual Distinguished Tiger Award. These students are wearing a Distinguished Tiger stole. These students have demonstrated Tiger pride both inside and outside of school through community service, participation in CLC activities, attendance, and character. Please rise and be recognized.
The teachers and administration of Crystal Lake Central are proud of your hard work and achievements. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Eric Ernst, the principal of Crystal Lake Central, to come forward to offer a few brief remarks to the class of 2021. Welcome parents, grandparents, teachers, alumni, and honored guests. A very important welcome to our graduating class of 2021. I can't tell you how excited I am that we are physically here today. Obviously, this has not been a normal year, and I want to say thank you to everyone for your patience and resilience this school year. I want to thank our parents for entrusting our entire staff with the opportunity to educate your graduates here today. Furthermore, I want to thank you for your help and support you have provided administration, staff, and students during the past four years. Graduates, can we please give a round of applause for our parents? We have over 75 staff members here between the two graduation ceremonies. They are here to celebrate the accomplishments and growth demonstrated by our graduates and to bid them the best of luck in their future endeavors. I also want to, want to add my thanks to our entire staff and celebrate them for all they do. Thank you teachers, support staff, and administrators. Can we give them a round of applause? <laughs> but most of all, I wanna say thank you to the class of 2021. Thank you for your perseverance. Perhaps no class in recent history has dealt with and persevered through more adversity than this one. Thank you for your flexibility. No class in history has handled seven school day schedule changes in one year, not to mention changes in sports seasons and extracurricular schedules. Thank you for your sacrifice. Your class has sacrificed the normalcy of the last years of your high school careers for the greater good of humanity and for saving lives. This will never be forgotten. Thank you for your greatness in leading the Tiger family. Our graduating Tigers have been excellent in all arenas here at CLC. Some of their outstanding accomplishments include the following. The boys cross country team was conference champions, regional champions, and sectional champions. The volleyball team was conference champions going undefeated. We had an all-state band member, three all-state choir members. The cheer and dance team were both state qualifiers. We had one state qualifier in girls tennis. We had 43 Illinois State Scholars, 47 Distinguished Tiger graduates, and many of our seniors are still comp competing, and the list of the accomplishments, I'm sure, will grow. Best of luck. Of all the things you have accomplished, we really are proud of you for what you've done, but also for how you've done it. And I'm especially proud of how you've kept the Tiger Pride alive. And Tiger Pride is something we really value, and it means exactly what one of our speakers already said it does. To be proud of your school, yourself, and what you represent as a Crystal Lake Central Tiger. Class of 2021, you've done that well. People say they are worried about kids in general because of the last 15 months. But I'm of the opinion that this graduating class is a special group of young adults who have handled this past year with greatness. What you have done is inspiring to us all. There is an American proverb that says the difference between stumbling blocks and stepping stones is how you use them. It's safe to say that this year we have experienced much more than a stumbling block. But well, class of 2021, thank you for stepping up and stepping well beyond our circumstances. Thank you and congratulations. Finally, it's a tradition started by Steve Olson at Crystal Lake Central High School that we close with the following advice for our graduates. Get to know your parents. You never know when they'll be gone for good. Be nice to your siblings. They're the best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand that friends come and go, but you should hold on to a precious few. Work hard to bridge the gaps in geography and lifestyle, because the older you get, the more you need the people who knew you when you were young. 
And most importantly, cherish these memories, all the good, the bad, the learning moments, as they will help define you for the rest of your days. Now, will the graduating class of 2021 please rise? <laughs> Members of the Board of Education, I certify that those standing before you now have completed all graduation requirements as established by the Board of Education and have earned a Community High School District 155 diploma. Members of the class of 2021, please move your tassel from left to right in recognition that you have officially earned a high school diploma. <laughs> Would the Board of Education please present the diplomas? Fatima Aguirre, Jaden Anthony Alvarez, Madeline Scott Anderson, Sydney Grace Aikenbrand, Kayla Marie Aviles, David Eli. Babishkin, Damaris J. Baez, Connor Martin Bartish, John K. Beisner, Joshua John Belusic, Elizabeth Grace Berg, Zachary L. Billimac. Noah E. Blome. Samuel Bolt. Gavin E. Boos. Michael C. Borchert. Joel Thomas Bricky, Brandon Wyatt Bruski, Jackson Timothy Bueller, Dylan Patrick Burke, Zachary R. Bush. Isabella Adela Callejas Holton. Anthony J. Camacho. Justin M. Campoli. Martin Juarez Carbajal. Delaney Faith Carlson. Rocco. John Carone. <laughs> Owen Russell Castle. Jennifer Cervantes. Carly C. Chase. Bastone Isaac Chikatev. Caitlin Nicole Sicatello. <laughs> Natalia Anastasia Chichirsky. <laughs> Madison Rose Colby. <laughs> Jake Joseph Koss. <laughs> Aldair Del Moral. 
Nicole Ann DeMarco. Phoenix Ariel DeVries. Rachel Diaz. Jacob J. Donahue. Mary Rebecca Douglas. Caitlin Carol Dowling. Ashley H. Elizarares Martinez. Julia K. Emery. Caden P. Earned. Peyton K. Falco. Michelle G. Franzen. Ryan P. Fuller, Giselle Gabriel, Leslie Garcia Gonzalez, Letitia A. Gates, Nicholas Gabbert, Kylie R. Gemmel. Jocelyn Gonzalez Diaz. Brandon Gonzalez Lopez. David S. Gorski. Logan T. Gramley. Willem J. Gritton. Jack Michael Gronberg. Brianna L. Hansen. Sarah E. Heffernan. Colin J. Hain. Quentin E. Hess. Dalton Wyatt Hewins. Keaton Lee Hobbs Hillman. Lucas William Hodges. Nathaniel P. Hoffman. Stuart K. Holcomb. Alexandria Holtkamp. Andrew Hopkins. Catherine Hopkins. Andrew M. Hudek. James R. Hunyadi. Madeline S. Hyde. Alexander P. Johnson. Jason Z. Johnson. Leslie Julio Acosta. Max C. Canelopoulos. Bryce C. Caspari. Cole M. Keenan. Madison Marie Klotz. <clears throat> Matthew L. Knopf. Hunter Knickerbocker. Jessica M. Korn. Samantha G. Korn. Carolina H. Cosmic. 
Jessica M. Lafoon. Delaney E. Lant. Thomas S. Lant. Kayla M. Lemke. Nicholas P. Leto. Robert W. Lieb. Kelsey R. Limbach. Litzy D. Lopez Cabanas. Victoria A. Magnitska. Sam A. McCabin. Peyton R. Madison. Caroline Makara. Kiara Rose Martell. Austin L. May. Matthew C. McClellan. Madeline E. McCormick. Ellen R. McGinnis. Esperanza I. Melendez. Daniel J. Messina. Kenneth E. Malarski. Caleb A. Moskowitz. Chaz D. Nelson. Aiden S. O'Brien. Anthony Ortiz. Leslie Michelle Ortiz. Quinlan O'Shaughnessy. Alexis Fawn Padilla. Andrew M. Pearson. Amber Lynn Pemble Hayes. Brittany Perez Lopez. Renata Maria Peterson. Mia M. Pfeiffer. Elizabeth M. Pierzina. Mary Poliak. Anna M. Potvin. Jenna E. Poulin. Christopher T. Reinick. Anthony R. Rios. Aiden J. Ritter. Karina G. Robles. Henry P. Ryerson. Julian R. Ryerson. Erwin San Gabriel. Mia Olivia Scherenberg. 
Samuel Robert Schauer. Stephen Joseph Schmidt. Royce G. Silva. Bailey Francis Snell. Haley C. Stankowitz. Natalie M. Starks. Zachary J. Stricker. Ariana Alexandra Stringfield. Jack S. Switchenberg. Catherine A. Teagle. Madeline Margaret Timmerman. Katie Torado. Madison Grace Towsey. Ryan Fisher Van Witzenberg. Aurora M. Vanderheiden. Caden Anthony Van Poyenbrook. Nathan L. Vetti Ruer. Victoria Josefina Wakeford. Hannah Elizabeth Wallenfang. Quinn Michael Welder. Jackson R. Wieland. Riley M. Wieland. Ellen M. White. Haley Lynn White. Joseph William Wolfgram. Bailey D. Wydra. Gabriela M. Yanez Camarillo. Cameron R. Yell. Henry George Yench. Alec John Zumski. Courtney Ann Zurich. Our final student speaker is Ellie Berg. During her time at Central, she participated in volleyball, softball, National Honor Society, fellow Christian athletes, Legacy Club, and the Crazies. In the fall, she will attend Iowa State University and study business and communications. Class of 2021, after months of chaos, confusion, and complications, we did it. Think back just a year ago when we finished our junior years at home, disappointed with the way we ended the year, but also excited to put it behind us and enter our senior year, the year we had long anticipated. Hallways filled with our friends and peers, classrooms noisy with heated discussions and debates, 
in sports fields and concerts at capacity with our families and biggest fans. Instead though, we got daily Zoom calls. We were introduced to Canvas, a student portal with good intentions, but not easy to conquer, especially when each class used it differently. For a generation who loves their technology, the pandemic had changed our school experience into a world only online and took away the perks of what we liked best about the school, the halls, the classrooms, the fields, and the people. We never realized how much we would miss school until it was taken from us. As we transitioned back to hybrid learning, school became a daily reminder to use hand sanitizer, wear masks, take your temperature, and one-way hallways. To say the least, this is not the senior year we had imagined. Empty hallways and classrooms, shortened sports seasons, and lack of social interaction are going to be some of the biggest pieces we remember about our senior year. The list of unfortunate circumstances and events we had to endure seems to have been endless, but our senior year was one of the biggest learning experiences we will ever have. We have learned that we absolutely cannot take anything for granted. We have learned how to make the most of messy, unfamiliar situations. And while some of us have learned to enjoy the laid back, easy life of Zoom classes, some of us have learned just how much we needed Crystal Lake Central. The smiling faces of classmates and peers in the halls. The time teachers invest just so their students can understand difficult concepts. The personal connections staff members make with students on a daily basis are only a few of the many reasons why we are so lucky to have been a Tiger the past four years. As we graduate today and start the next chapters of our lives, it is easier to look back and remember what we have lost. But instead, look around at the building and fields where we spent so many hours of the past four years of our lives. Look to the left and the right of you at the teachers, administrators, and staff who have provided not only curriculum, but compassion for each of us. Look in the stands at our families who have been there each step of the way. And look in these seats at our peers and closest friends. Each of these classrooms, educators, family members, and classmates have been a part of shaping who we have become. Class of 2021, even though this past year has been full of the unexpected, we have learned to make opportunities out of what many would consider obstacles. I'm proud of us, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for each and every one of us. We ask that the audience please remain seated until after the graduates recess out of the stadium. Class, Class of 2021, 2021 
Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right. I hope you had the time of your life. So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial 